Well, it's a big week for the markets as the major banks report quarterly financial results as first quarter earnings season heats up. But investors are also keeping an eye out for the Consumer Price Index from March, which was released on Friday. So for more, let's bring in Lindsay Piegg, the Chief Economist at Stern AG. And Lindsay, it's good to have you here. Welcome back. Thanks for having me. So how are you feeling heading into tomorrow's CPI? I mean, it seems as though the employment situation has really stolen the show. But Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen has said multiple times that they're not going to raise rates until they're reasonably confident that inflation moves back towards the 2% target. So let's bring the conversation back towards inflation. What do you think? Well, certainly right now the market is still focused on that disappointing March employment report. But as you mentioned, inflation is the other half of that equation. And we continue to see very benign inflation pressures, although we did see a little bit of an uptick in terms of energy prices in March, as well as a bit of stabilization in the U.S. dollar. And so we are looking for a modest positive rise in the CPI in that March report. That being said, when we look at this on an annual basis, we're still talking about flat, 0% in terms of those consumer prices against the backdrop of a very significantly negative PPI or producer price index. So right now, the big question is what inflation? There is no inflation pressures holding the Fed's feet to the fire to justify or force a rate increase in the near term. And of course, that week, week job, uh, March jobs report, which when you and I spoke in February, you were adamant that a 26, uh, 2016 rate hike was more likely than any time in 2015. I'd imagine you still maintain that outlook. We certainly do. 2016 seems the appropriate uh, amount of time needed to get the economy on very firm footing. And that really is the key. It's beyond the confidence or the relative improvement. We need to see outright strength in the economy. And right now, we're still seeing a lot of downward pressure. Analysts have been quick to dismiss a lot of the recent data because of unseasonably cold weather or one-off disruptions, the West Coast port uh, closure as well. But really, what we're seeing is those trends came in play before those disruptions and now continue as we roll into the second quarter, suggesting that there was more than Mother Nature at play when we're looking at that underlying weakness. All right, and speaking of the Federal Reserve, former Fed Chair Ben Bernanke has now joined a hedge fund, Citadel, as an advisor. We saw this with Alan Greenspan, his predecessor. You know, can former Fed chairs really bring value to a hedge fund, or is this all for show? Well, I, I think it's certainly going to bring value to the market, or at least volatility to the market. Market. If we continue to hear comments out in the marketplace talking about what Ben Bernanke would do in terms of monetary policy, or if he goes so far as to actually forecast what he anticipates in terms of the pathway for rates, that will certainly uh, add additional momentum to the market when they're adjusting their forecast uh, under the, the, the guise of uh, Chair uh, Yellen making monetary policy. Yeah, what does that tell you about hedge funds in general? I mean, they haven't had the best run lately, so hiring a, a former Fed chair? Well, he does have certain insights in terms of uh, policy making, and that certainly can give additional benefit to any sort of market player that's trying to time and understand the pathway for rate increases. All right, Lindsay Piegza from Stern AG, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.